and what is up everyone welcome back to the channel i know it's been three months or so since i have last picked up the camera and vlogged something but welcome back to the channel it's been a while so forgive me if i'm a little awkward again talking to the camera but today i am going to another yelp event it's just like the event last year that i went to with sean where we both got a bunch of tasting tickets and we got to walk around downtown santa ana and taste a bunch of the foods that they were offering so tonight i'm actually going to go with vince so we're going to see what restaurants have in store for us this time so just because i know that the audio is not going to be in its best quality i'm going to be subtitling the entire video if you couldn't already tell it's going to take a lot of time editing and i'm probably going to regret saying that i'm subtitling the entire video but it's good practice i haven't edited in a couple of months and i guess let's just head over there Big ass piece of drink. This thing is fucking huge. It's literally just leaking juice and spicy. <clears throat> <laughs> it's spicy? Yeah. Without the hot sauce? I, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Because you see, like, the skin is, like, kind of red. It's kind of, like, reddish, you know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a nice shot of chicken. Mm. Oh, man. The wind is probably blowing and you can't hear me. But this skin is crispy. So. I didn't realize that I got a breast piece and it wasn't a thigh piece, but it's still pretty juicy. I normally don't prefer white meat for fried chicken, but it's still not bad nonetheless. And the chicken is really crispy. Okay, I'm gonna eat this fried chicken in peace. Vince basically said everything I was gonna say. Crispy chicken, juicy meat. I'd say it was worth the wait. The line was so long, it wrapped around the corner. We waited for like, what, 30 minutes? Maybe like 20 minutes. Because usually when we when we pick a restaurant that we want to eat at, um, there's usually no wait and you can just pick up the food. But look at this juicy chicken, man. drunken fries with the bratwurst sausage. Take it like a bite, get some of this caramelized onions on that. And Those sausage. onions look good. Well, first thing, the fries are like extra f***ing crispy. They're really? slight, they got that crunch to it. Then you have the sweetness of the caramelized onion. I think this sauce is like a aioli. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely an aioli. I want to say it's kind of like a spicy mayo aioli. The sausage, just from biting it alone, you can taste like the smokiness and like the charring on it, but mm -hmm. it doesn't quite have that snap, I guess maybe because it's not in like a full sausage form. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when you bring it like all together, it's pretty nice. I can see this being on like a hot dog, like with a bun. I had this before last year, so I think it's the same. But if you guys remember last year, I'll insert like some clips right now. It was raining and it was super crowded. Think. The sauce and the fries is also a little sweet. The fries are good. The bratwurst is like not too salty either. So it doesn't overpower the fries and the onions. I like it. 
It actually tastes different than last year's. It might be the same, but it tastes different to me from what I remember it to be. Oh no! Next. We're about to go inside Fourth Street Market, so prepare for a little bit of a volume change. It's gonna get loud in there. Chicken pot pie soup in the past, and my mom makes it. My Linda has made it herself, so I'll be the judges. Has like you know a little piece of the crust inside of here. Chicken. It smells good. A pretty watery broth, not as thick, but yeah. we'll have to see. Can't be the judge of that. Honestly, my fingers are burning. In my opinion, like the only thing that's really pot pie about it, like this is me. Like I don't even know if I'm being harsh today or things just happening. But like. The only pot pie I think is the crust. It really tastes like a chicken noodle soup. Lots of chicken without the noodles. Just typical pot pie things. It just tastes like a similar pot pie broth. But yeah, it's just very reminiscent of like a chicken noodle soup more than like a pot pie. So while I tried the soup, Vince is gonna try the dessert. This pot pie soup, it's watery. It doesn't taste like a pot pie really. Chicken's like, chicken's really salty, and then it just has like peas and carrots as like a side thing, and the broth is a little disappointing. I didn't like this, but it looks like you like that. So this, <laughs> this ganache with the, you know, sweet potato ice cream and the butterscotch drizzle and cinnamon, this is like, this dish just embodies like what fall really is, like this is fire. So the ice cream, the tart, the caramel, the ganache. I 
I think it might be like a little bit of Malibu in there. Oh yeah. Like Malibu. It's definitely Malibu. Pineapple juice. Um, some kind of rum too, like there's some kind of dark rum. It's not too strong, but you can taste that there's alcohol. It's pretty yeah, good. It's good. It's more sweet than anything else. Like, uh, yeah, it's more sweet than, you know, juice. two tickets left and we wanted to stop by Black Market Bakery but um, they ran out of what they were advertising so for a regular menu item price we had to give two tickets and we got the ginger molasses cookie. Do you like molasses? Yeah. So I can just smell the gingerbread right mm. here. It's pretty reminiscent of like a little raisin. Mm. I thought you had fruit. You got me some kind of fruit. Fruit? Yeah. Mm, oh, I love molasses. You gotta get the smell. Mm. This is so good. Mm, wow. It's, it tastes just like the molasses cookie I had when I was a kid. Good choice. I'm glad I decided on this. Yeah, I think the, the chewy pockets is the molasses. Mm -hmm. like, it's so kind of like chewy. It's rich. This cookie is so good. Hello everyone, we are back in the car. We are about to head out now. Um, I think we're just gonna give a conclusion of our favorite places. I wanted to do a top three favorite places, but I don't even think I have like a top three. Like, the best entree place that I tried was definitely the um, fried chicken place. The, what was it called again? Gus's. Gus's fried Famous fried chicken. fried chicken. It was a pop-up booth. They are opening a location in Santa Ana soon. They only have two locations, one in Los Angeles and one in Long Beach from what I am aware of right now. The fried chicken was crispy, it was juicy, it was definitely worth the wait. And then for the best dessert, it wasn't on the menu, so I would have to say it was the Black Street Market cookie that I had earlier. But for something on the menu, I would definitely say that the dessert from uh, Three Pug Bakery was the best. Uh, it was definitely Gus's uh, fried chicken. Like the, the Gus's fried chicken is pretty much embodies like the Los Angeles fried chicken. The whole kind of culture of how the chicken is made down there, you know, it's not spice heavy. It's just really how it's fried and you can just really taste the, uh, what's it called? Just the batter, it's really good. It's just really good overall. The best dessert was the chocolate tart ganache with the, um, what was it? Sweet no, sweet potato. Yeah, sweet potato. Sweet potato ice cream and then a little butterscotch on top. That was probably the second best item. The rest was really just kind of like, yeah, it was just kind of like, eh. I wasn't too excited about everything else. Yeah, I think I definitely hyped up the event from last year because all of the food that me and Sean had last year was delicious. Mm, you win some, you lose some, and it was a free event, so I can't complain. So thank you to Yelp OC for having me for this event. This is, this is my video now. <laughs> Yeah, Vince basically took over this video because he wanted to do all the food reviews. Um, I let him kind of just take over the video because it was his first time at this event. And yeah, sorry that the food wasn't as great as I said it was. Nah, it was, it was pretty good. I had a good time. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching another vlog. Uh, be sure to follow me on my social medias. It is Chung Linda with two A's on both my Twitter and my Instagram. And I will see you all whenever I decide to pick up the camera again. Bye! <laughs>